Welcome to our kitchen. Today we prepare octopus and cucumber salad from the Recoquinaria, the widest source for ancient Roman cooking. We start with ingredients. We need an octopus, cucumbers, olive oil, garum, white wine, honey, the spices, black pepper, lovage and asafetida. Then the aromatic herbs, thyme and savory. First, we simmer the octopus. We cooked it for about 40 minutes, but the cooking time depends on the size. This octopus recipe is collected in the ninth book of the Recoquinaria, entirely dedicated to fish and seafood. This is the only passage in which the author mentions the octopus, but there are several other recipes for calamari, cuttlefish, lobster, shrimps and various kinds of shellfish. The recipes for seafood written by this author are simple and extraordinary. To no more check out our videos for shrimp and cuttlefish cakes, lobster and mussels. You find the links in the description below. Meanwhile, we slice the cucumber and prepare the sauce. This kind of sauce is called enogarum, which means that it's made with two main ingredients, wine and garum. Among the fragments by Gargilius Martialis, we find an interesting method for enogarum, prepared from scratch. In the first part, the author describes the preparation of garum, similar to the one we made in the past, but with the addition of several aromatic herbs. Then, in the second part, the garum is mixed with wine, honey and spices. We grind the black pepper and lovage, then we add the aromatic herbs and dilute with honey, garum, olive oil and wine. Do not exaggerate with lovage, since it turns quite spicy when it's paired with pepper. You can substitute it with anise, cumin or fennel seeds, as suggested by Pliny and Dioscorides. Asafetida is equivalent to ancient laser particum, the cheaper variety of silphium. There are several methods for enogarum in the Recoquinaria, explained by the author in the description of the various recipes. Sometimes he writes to use simplex enogarum, made with just garum and wine. But on other occasions the recipes are more complex, with aromatic herbs and spices, like the one we chose to dress the cucumber. This recipe actually is for truffles, but pairs perfectly with cucumber. If you prefer, you can just mix garum and wine. Garum is very important for this recipe. The author writes that if one dresses the cucumbers with garum or enogarum, they turn more digestible. In any case, garum can be substituted with salt, ancient muria or a Southeast Asian fish sauce, prepared in the same way as some kinds of garum. To prepare garum at home or muria, which is the ancestor of colatura di alici, check out our videos in which we explain how to make it from scratch. You find the links in the description below. The recipe for Renogarum is included in the first book of the Recoquinaria and the one for cucumbers in the third, both available in translation on our Patreon page where you find more translations of historical sources and articles about ancient and medieval foods, among which articles about silphium, lovage and Mediterranean spices. To know more about Roman foods, check out our book Ancient Roman Cooking on Amazon in English and Italian. Then we grind a bit of black pepper to season the octopus. 
Octopus seems quite common in ancient Greek cuisine. In Athenaeus de Hypnosophists, we find it mentioned a few times, called in Greek Polypus. The author reports a few quotes about Octopus, for example one from the poet Alceus, about someone so full, who has no more common sense than an octopus. According to the physician Diocles, lived in the 4th century before the common era, the mollusks are all good, and octopus especially. The physician the philosopher Siphnos and the comedy writer Alexis, who lived between the 4th and the 3rd century before the common era, continues Ateneus, write about the aphrodisiac properties of octopus. The physician adds that octopus is hard to digest and tough, and must be cooked slowly to benefit the stomach. When the octopus is cooked through, we cut it and season it with garum, black pepper and asafetida. Then serve it with the cucumber dressed with an ugarum. If you're interested instead in medieval cuisine, pre-order our new book with the translation in English and Italian of the Registrum Cuquine, a funny and interesting medieval cookbook. The prepared edition will be available in June. If you want to support us, you can also buy us a beer or purchase our merchandise. You find all the links in the description below. This dish turned out intensely flavored with Mediterranean aromas, complex with savory and thyme, sapid and quite spicy. It's incredible how many recipes in the Requinaria result tasty without cooking fats of any kind. The seasoning for the octopus is very simple, but actually there is no need to add more flavors with just three ingredients, pepper, asafetida and garum, it is absolutely delicious. Actually, the traditional Italian recipes for octopus are no more complex, because it is usually prepared with just a few ingredients, such as lemon, parsley, olive oil, pepper and salt. We commonly pair it with potatoes. If you want to make something similar but with a tuber that ancient Romans ate, try our recipe for taro. You find the link in the description below. If you're interested in ancient foods and flavors, subscribe our channel and consider supporting us on Patreon.